Once upon a time in a village there was a farmer named Rama. His wife's name was Sita. He had 3 sons named Raghupati, Raghav and Raja Ram. One day Rama called his friend Venkatesh and told him, "Hey Venkatesh, I am getting old and my health is not well. Oh no, what happened to you? Why are you talking like that? Being a very smart and happy man, why do you think so? Can I call the doctor? No, no, no. Nothing has happened to me. Okay, then something bothering you? First tell me that one. Nothing is there. You know it's all about my three sons. Oh, the matter regarding your three sons. I thought something else big. Hey, why are you saying that? I wanted to hand over my business to them, but see how they are. You already had an idea about the laziness of your son's nose. Then how do you hand it over to them? No, I don't do that. You are my friend since childhood and I have seen you working hard for money. By accumulating penny by penny, you came to this stage when all people thought you were a miser. You never listen to them and work hard to earn this and your sons are lazy fellows. and roam around without any responsibility don't make mistake don't hand over the business to your sons venkatesh gave this advice and left by listening to the words of his friends rama thinks what should i do to give lessons to my son how to set his sons right and one day he calls his sons and says come my dear sons I am not able to take care of all the business at this stage. If three of you take care of agriculture, textile and money lending business one each, I will relax a bit at this stage. Okay dad, you take rest. We will take care of your business. They agreed before him, but they didn't do anything and the days passed. So by seeing this, Rama called one farmer Sir have you called me had i make any mistake sir no kanaiya you had asked me for land for lease i remembered that and called you yes sir please do me that favor i will not forget that sir why others land you take my land give me half of the harvest you got satisfied with rama's talk kanaiya left from there By keeping his word, Kanaiya gave half of the harvest to Rama. Also, Rama was unable to take care of his money lending business and hired a clerk. Even the clothes shop he owns handed over to the people he knows and taking the profit from them. One day, all three of his sons came to him. Dad, we want money for expenses. He did not say a single word to them. Called his clerk and gave them the money they wanted. The three sons had no other business than spending and wasting money. Rama was very depressed seeing the act of his three sons. I don't know what you are doing. When you give them money like this, they will not become responsible. I have already told you about this matter. Then what do I have to do? I am becoming old. Okay, leave that. I am growing a garden now. I will show you that. Come on. You said you have stopped working. Still there are many varieties of plants here. All three sons of Rama were watching this from distance. Even at this age, he has a desire to earn money. Ram becomes ill the next day, so he called his sons and said to water the plants. He had no work to do. He will say something every time. Rama's wife Sita listened to all these words and felt bad and she watered the plant. By seeing these things, Rama felt really sorry for his son's behavior. Rama also got a good income from home. Rama got a new neighbor, Bhima. One day, when Rama was working in the garden, Bhim came there to meet him and said, Hello sir. I am Bhim. I am new to this place. I live beside you. Why are you doing? Very nice. What are you doing? 
आई एम डूइंग गोट बिजनेस आई हैव गॉट हंड्रेड गोट्स नाइस हाउ मेनी चिल्ड्रन डू यू हैव टू बट दे आर नॉट लिविंग विद अस दे आर डूइंग बिजनेस एंड लिव इन अनदर विलेज देन वट अबाउट योर चिल्ड्रन सर After saying this, Rama went from there. Bhima understands nothing and thought that he is in some trouble. After some days, Rama and Bhima became good friends. In a short span, they both became very good friends. One day, Bhima comes to Rama and tells him, "Rama sir, I had trouble. I want help from you." help what kind of help do you want anything for you ask me about without hesitation i am asking with the belief that you never say no my sons had a problem they wanted me to come i have sold all the goats but they are 20 goats left i hired a boy to look after you have to just manage them for 10 days will you do that sir when bima was there He did not know what kind of fodder Bhima used to graze the goats, but now the eyes of goats fell on Rama's garden. They raided his garden and started grazing there. Dear sons, come and take care that those goats don't come here. They are eating the nice cultivated garden. But the sons did not hear what Rama said and they made fun of him. So Rama called the boy who looked after the goats and asked him to control them. But his efforts were in vain. Rama called the boy and said, "Do one thing. Make a fence around my house. The goats are eating that garden." "Okay, sir. We will make a fence around that." The boy made the wooden fence around the garden. "Nice. Now I can live peacefully." This idea worked for some days, but the clever goats gradually pushed the stick gate with their horns and used to enter the garden. After some days Bhima came back upon seeing Bhima Rama started complaining to him Bhima your goats were destroying my entire garden somehow i control them i asked that boy to manage the fence around my garden what is that rama you have three sons if they can't control them how can my workmen control them besides no one else in this village is troubled by my goats except you Rama felt there was a truth in what he said. That's why Rama went home silently. And even after that, Bhima did not control the goats. One day in front of Rama, all the goats were destroying the garden, but Rama said nothing and stood still. Looking at that, all three of his sons came to him and started asking him Dad, the goat is eating the garden, which is the life blood of your life. Why are you standing there looking like that? Are you disappointed that all your hard work has gone in vain? Let them eat. I laid this garden for that. If they graze this garden, not only will all my sins be destroyed, but I will also get some virtue. All three of his sons were surprised and said, "We don't understand what you mean, father." For grazing this goat jumped 3 yards with great effort and came inside the sin that i got for feeding useless lazy people for so long will be vanished by feeling sorry for this laboring creature from this day onwards i will give all the money and property to those who work hard all three of them were very ashamed and they realized that they were not even doing the hard work that the goat had done to earn her food ashamed of their laziness all three brothers started discussing tomorrow our father may feel sorry for a thief just as he felt sorry for that goat today or he can look at the plight of the poor and feel sorry for them and donate all their property to them they thought that what are you thinking now please advise something we will lost all our money as soon as this fear started in their minds rama's sons gave up their laziness and they protected the garden and even helped their father as requested and made rama happy 
Rama was very happy seeing this transformation and he told his friend Venkatesh See Venkatesh how my sons have changed I don't understand what has happened to them All this is done by Bhima to teach your sons a lesson He always advise these kind of thing to people By hearing the words of Venkatesh he realized what had happened So I have to say thanks to Bhima Rama goes to thank Bhima. Bhima, if you are not there, my sons will not change. I am grateful to you. There is nothing in that, Rama sir. After watching the pain you are facing your sons, I thought I have to do something, and I have done this. You are a hardworking person, but your sons are not. That's why I did this. It's true, Bhima. I thought they should not meet. those hardships which are felt myself that's why i raised them like that see rama hard work pays off if we sit and eat even the mountains can also be degraded i made that thing clear to them